So we try to understand diabetes from the molecular perspective. We want to see what went wrong in the gene expressions in the beta cells. Hopefully by understanding this process, we can find new cure or give us new directions where we can develop a cure for diabetes. I think diabetes is one of the most important diseases. It's estimated that one in three people by 2050 will have diabetes. Single cell transcriptomics is one of the coolest technologies. So what it allows you to do is to study the entire gene expression patterns of the cells of your interest. Let's say, go back to our diabetes sample. We want to study beta cells and diabetes generally is caused by beta cell dysfunction. A single cell transcriptomic analysis, we can compare the beta cells within diabetes patients and with control patients just to see what is different in the diabetes patients. Uh, we found this endocrine progenitor population in the adult pancreas. Uh, this is the first time where we can unambiguously identify this population. Now we know that this population exists, we can potentially find ways to utilize this population to derive more beta cells. By making more beta cells, we can eventually cure diabetes. From one experiment, we will get thousands of single cell, and then from each single cell, we will have 20,000 uh, gene expression values associated with this single cell. So you can imagine it's a very, very complex data. So all this procedure we performed in RCC because that allows us to perform all the high dimension complex data analysis faster. I have my own uh, dedicated partition in RCC that contain 22 CPU and uh, four gig memory per CPU. And uh, generally for the alignment, I use all the CPUs and all the memories because that's how much resources I need to perform this alignment. So I'm actually teaching bioinformatics class this semester. RCC actually provides my classroom specific partition and uh, storage process. This really enables us to work with this class because we need to perform in class a lot of big data handling, big data alignments. I believe, you know, training the next generation scientists is a very important mission as a assistant professor because we need to uh, really spread our knowledge so that you know people especially next generation scientists can carry over the knowledge and start to build a new better treatment for diabetes.